Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Estancia La Pacho here in Paraguay. And as you can hear from my voice, I have a bit of cold at the moment. So it's, um, yeah, it's, it, I'm, I'm a little bit croaky, but more importantly, I do have a bit of a sore throat. So I'm trying to keep these episodes a little bit shorter at the moment. And hopefully it will be all right again uh, very, very soon. At, le at least that's what I'm hoping. Now, I just want to have a look on here. We should have a course somewhere that I can just reload. I can't remember where you get them from. Uh, it's not that one. It's not that one. No, no. Ah, here we go. Right. Uh, challenge. I think it was this one here. So I need to go load course there. And then I bring that one up. Drive course. Oh, I know what I need to do. I need to go there. And then not automatic search. I need to choose combine here. And uh, not the bison. The 9490X, that is the one that we want to do this with. And then I go drive course. Get rid of that. No combine in reach. So it's just going to sit there. And the actual course is over on the field over there. At least that's what I'm hoping. And he will go over there after he has done this little bit. That combine has just got that field left to do over there. And then it's going to carry on and everything will be tickety-boo. We're going to go down through. This is our line of trailers that we made for the sheep. Uh, we're, good, we're just going to leave them. We're not going to worry about them at the moment. Um, we probably won't do a lot with them anymore. Now, I did say that I was going to do stuff with the... Um, with the... With, with, with the... With the... With, with the stuff. With, with the thing. Um, just looking at that field there, and I'm thinking that actually I don't want the combine to go and like start on that field just yet. So I'm going to bring this combine over here, and I'm going to start it on this side. And hopefully it'll then work to our right to finish off this field. So if I go into there like that, it will carry on through there. Um, what I'd like to do today, the, the combines are going to carry on. We're doing what they're doing. When the beans are finished over there, we're going to start down on the barley down there. The bison itself, we're not going to do anything with at the moment. We've got um, potatoes up there. We need to sort of fast forward in time. I did say that I was going to put some food in for the cows. I haven't done that yet. I will do that between now and next episode. Um, but there's something else that I wanted to do this week before I do that anyway. Now, this one is full. So we'll just start that one up a minute. And now I'm going to set this one going. I actually could do with using this tractor. I want to use this for something else. But um, never mind. We'll go with here. So I want to go back into there. And... Big field, no. Challenge, field eight, first corn, pig, oh, pig corn. That's the one. It's pig corn, I think. Yes, that is the one. Okay, so we're, we're going to use pig corn on this one, and we're going to go here now, and then drive course. He should, in theory, helper M has a full grain tank. Yeah, that one over there has got a full grain tank. This one here should go... Yes, he is. He's going the right way. He's going to go all the way over to the pigs, and he's going to empty out his corn. And then he's going to come back, and he will automatically unload that combine over there. At least that's what I'm hoping. That's, that's what it should... Oh, hang on. No, there is... We, we gotta, we got to do this for this one. We've got to go onto there, and then we want to choose... Not the bison, not the... There's the John Deere that we want for that one. There. Right, so now he will go back and you'll find that combine and he will keep going as well so i'm getting used to some of the course play stuff i'm getting used to some of the course play stuff uh yeah i do i could actually do that john deere that's on that one because i wanted the mowers we'll just leave that buys on there um that one can carry on there this one is just parked up he's waiting for that combine it's no good that one's no good um no 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 it's see this one oh hang on is this the bigger one the 60... I'm not sure which of our um, tractors is actually bigger on. The two John Deere's. The John Deere's are the ones with the front link. And I need the front link. We've got that one there. No, that one doesn't have a front link anyway. Um, because these tractors here, these don't have front links on them. The Staras. They've only got um, rear hydraulics. So we've got that one there, the 6R series. That one is 180 horsepower. And then we've got that one there... It's 210 horsepower, that's the 7030. So that's the more powerful one. I think that's the one that is up. Yeah. So this this is not the most powerful tractor. The other one is the more powerful tractor. 
However, we will go for this one. I'm just going to... Oh, no, I've got a, a weight on the back there. I wonder if I can hitch on, even though I've got this weight on the back, because you can sometimes h hitch things on to the weights. I don't think I'm going to be able to, but we'll give it a go. Uh, you come out here. Oh, okay. I can actually carry both of them at once. As long as I don't lower the weight down, we should be all right. So we'll take this through. We're going to we're gonna have to go up through there and take this one back a minute. As last week, uh, we're not going to be having a weekly question this week, and I'm not doing random events because I want to wrap things up on this map and I want to get it done. Um, I just want to say, as, as many of you know, I do record this episode on a Friday. I do it at the end of the week so that, um, you know, just so that it, everything sort of all works out well. Um... I've just found out, many of you will probably know of a YouTuber called Total Biscuit. Um, he, he did lo a lot of game reviews, he, he quite often did a lot of um, like indie games and stuff like that. And he had, a, um, it's, it's been a long time since I watched his videos. He used to, a long time ago, do Warcraft videos, and that's what I remember him from. Um, but it's, it's been a very long time. It's, it's been a long time since I watched any of his content, and I, it's just Total Biscuit is just one of the big YouTubers that you, you sort of know about, um, and so yeah, it's I was really quite devastated to find out that he very sadly passed away. Just um, well for me, it's this morning um, or last night. It was it was very recent that he's he's just passed away. So um, I know this is a few days later. So those of you who are familiar with him. Um, yeah, it's. I I really feel quite. It's it's immensely saddening to learn something like this, and I was I've, I've been debating whether or not I should even bring it up in the video, but I I do think that I should. I mean, Total Biscuit is 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 it for a lot of people who watch YouTube videos. He's he's, he's just kind of someone who is is really well known in in YouTube circles, and he's done such a huge amount for YouTube and for, um, well, just, just kind of, like, making YouTube known and, um, well, I don't know about making YouTube known, it's just, those of you who did watch his videos will have, I have no doubt, some very, very fond memories of him and all the different things that he did. It was, um, and, yeah, I, I, I'm really struggling to find any words to sort of talk about this. It's, it, Genuinely, it's, it's absolutely thrown me. Um, and, yeah, it's, it, well, I haven't watched him for quite a long time. It's, it's something that he talked about with his fans um, quite a while, well, over the, the last few years, let's say last few years, just recently, I should say, he's, he's talked about it more, about his ongoing illness. And, um, yeah, I, I sort of didn't really know anything about it because I haven't watched him for a very long time. And I, I just remember watching his videos a long time ago and now suddenly I find this out and I'm it, it's really it's really upsetting it really is and so yeah I I just feel that it would be good to at least mention him and just say you know I'm, I am really deeply saddened to hear that he has passed away um, and those of you who did know him um, it's I well, sort of have no doubt that you would agree with me that it is it's an incredibly sad thing to sort of find out it's um it's yeah well there's not there's not a lot else that I can say about that really it it is it's incredibly sad and that's really all we can say so let's carry on with the show and today as you can see we're planning to do some mowing and I'm not really sure what's going on with this front link I'm just not I'm not entirely sure that it's supposed to do that in fact, I'm pretty certain that it's not supposed to do that at all. Uh, oh, hang on. Is, is, is there a... Enable IC. Right. If I do that... Enable IC... Well, there is, there is no IC while I'm outside of the cab. Uh, I'm just wondering if there's like a... If, if I lower the mower, is, is there an adjustment on that? Doesn't seem to be. Let me lift the mower. We go in cab a second and we'll have a look and we'll see what the IC does. Okay, there's no IC available on here. It, it says enable it, but there doesn't seem to be. It's, nothing's happening with it. Um, so we'll we'll leave that. We'll, we'll come out of cab. I'm gonna. Ha I think I'm gonna need to just swap the tractor over. 
because this this is no good I can't do any mowing with this and yes I, I'm planning to do mowing today because we've got the sheep and I'd like to be able to do stuff with the sheep so let me just unhitch this one no I have no idea this, this really thrown me that as what it, what why why is it leaving it right up in the air like that that seems really bizarre now the, the back one you can't actually lower these down you've got to do this from while it's up in the air like that and then just sort of drop it down so if we head up this way the fent has finished we'll have to go put that one on the smaller field we drive this one up and we will try and swap this one over with the tractor that's up here when we get the slightly stronger tractor anyway it might work out a little better for us um, and hopefully it will be able to do the front link a little bit better. I'm pretty sure what's going on with that. That seems a little bit peculiar. I genuinely don't know why it's done that. And our course play tractor. It looks like he's just unloading the comb. Is he unloading the combine or is he doing something weird? I think he is doing something weird. He's gone and parked in front of the combine and yeah, he has. He's He's driven over there, and he's parked in front of the combine, and he's stopped. Why? Why? Will, why? You don't. You don't need to do that. Let me. Let me go into him, and we'll stop driver like that. Bad driver. What do you think you're playing at? And then we will. We'll have to come out of the corner a minute, and we'll unhitch this trailer, and we will leave it here. We'll put that tractor onto it, and hopefully that tractor will be able to deal with it. So we'll stop right here, like that, and then I'll jump out, and I'll unhitch that one. This tractor here, as it's slightly more powerful, might be better for doing the mowing anyway, because those mowers do take quite a bit of juice. You do have to um, have a reasonable amount of power to be able to run the front and well, the, the yeah, the front and butterfly mowers. Just back up there a minute. I'm not actually planning to use the manual attaching mod in the next series. Uh, I'm going to do this without because. Most hitches you don't even need to get out of the tractor for these days anyway, so I feel it's we may as well just do it without it. It's I, I can't really see that it's going to like affect gameplay majorly. Now I need to go back to here and we want to go to pig corn there, load that one. Like that. And then I just go Oh hang on, no, I need to drive course. Why is it not? Stop at last point. Why has it got that there for the, the combine? I don't understand. Stop driver. Is it not done it properly? Pig corn. Load course. It's not letting me search for a combine. Okay, hang on. Uh, I can come over here. Maybe I need to maybe I need to be a little bit closer to it in order to make it work. If I come down here, because I'm in the same field, maybe that's what it's doing. I'm pretty sure there's some bits of this that I don't actually understand. If I stop right, let's go to here. See there, th th that's the bit that you click on to search the combine, but that was not there. Uh, six speed from recording. And we go to here. Yeah, that's that's fine. So if I go drive course, uh two Oh, two combined courses. No, I don't want that. Wrong tool for this mode. Okay, let's uh, save. I don't want that. So if I, uh, I know, I know what I need to do. I need to go here and then create a uh, save current course. Search for course. How do I clear it? I, I want to clear everything completely. Stop driver like that, and then ah, uh, there we go. Clear current course. Right. Start course recording. Now I will go back to here. And I will go pig corn like that. There. Search for courses. Create new. Save current. You shouldn't need to. And then drive course. Drive now. Wrong tool for this. How is it the wrong tool for this mode? Oh. I see. I'm on the wrong. Because it... it yeah, even though it's on this, so um, type combi, empty combine, and offload. It's that one there. So I've still got to select the correct mode at the bottom in order to get this work right. Now I'm with you. Now I understand. Frithgar understands now. Frithgar is it's on the case. So we go drive course like that, and he's going to go over there. It's probably just going to drive the entire course. I'm going to go here, and then I'm going to manually search. Not the Bison, not the 94. Uh, we're going to go to the John Deere, the 8820. It's going to search that one. Gonna leave that one go. Now what's it doing? 
What are you doing? I think it's going to go and empty out. Yeah, it's going to it's going to go and empty out and then it's going to come back even though it's only got 8000 liters in just because it's like a, a little bit confuddled, but that's fine. We we'll let it we'll let it be confuddled. It's it's perfectly acceptable. And we are going to go through helper M as a full grain tank. It's fine. I don't care about that. We're going to take this bad boy here and we're going to drive. So that one, the challenger over there is still running course play. That one, that one's still going. So that one's fine. I'm going to bring this one down over here. Can I go any faster than this? I cannot. 20k is absolutely flat out. We're going to start on the corn here and we're going to get that going. Um, actually, you only need to do one little bit with the combine just up through here. And then I'll put it into the next field. I'll press H and I'll forget about it. That one will then finish off that field. And then we can set it up ready in the next field. So I just start that up like that. Come on round here. You know, I may be able to just do it this way. If I go like that, and then I press H. I know that I'm going right over the other bit, um, and I, I do apologize for that. I shouldn't be sort of driving with the combine up through the middle, but it should be all right. So we'll let that one go up through there. And then I'm hoping that that challenger will be able to find me. It'll come all the way, come racing over here as soon as we're emptied out. This one should just go up to the end of there. And then it'll turn around and it will come back up through and just work through that little field there. Slightly longer going the other way, so it would be a fraction quicker going the other way. But I don't think it's going to make a vast difference in the grand scheme of things. Go on. Make the turn. Make the turn. It's making the turn. That's beautiful. That's, that's like poetry in motion, that is. This one here, yeah, that's just waiting for that one to fill up. That's fine. And then we can go through and this one's coming up, getting ready to tip. Just make sure this one's working all right. The pigs are fine at the moment. They've got plenty of food. Go on. Up you go. Cover off. Onto the t on, 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 Up onto it. Onto the, the tip point. The tip point was the word I was looking for. Tip that one out. And then hopefully he'll come back and the next time around he will actually fill all the way up properly. Right, we can let that one go now. He's, he's doing just fine. He's, he's got no problems. And that one's doing fine as well. We want this tractor. We're going to race back down to the yard. And then we can get the John Deere mowers on. And we can mow that grass down there. Because we need to put a little bit of food in for the sheep. We are also going to have to put some water in for them. Uh, I'm not quite sure how we're going to do that. We'll figure something out once we um, get along there. And I don't think we need anything else because we, we just got to feed the sheep. The only issue that we're going to have is that we spent all that money on those sheep. We got all those sheep up there. And the only issue... Why am I going so slow? Ah. The only issue that we've really got with all those sheep is that the... Um, we, we got no money. Uh, we, we used all our money up. And we still need to harvest the potatoes, and we've got no way of getting the uh, machine that we wanted for the potatoes. So we're going to have to sell some crops or something in order to just get the last little bit of cash that we need in order to make this work. Now, the ultimate test. Is the front mower going to fit on this tractor properly? Because it did not fit on the last tractor at all. Let me just bring that one up to there like that, and hitch. Apparently it doesn't like it either. What is it with this mower? What, why don't you like this mower? What is it about this mower that you don't like? Because that doesn't seem right to me. I ought to be honest with you all. That doesn't seem right to me at all. There, there, there seems to be a slight issue with how this is working. And it looks like it's the mower, not the tractor. Hmm. Um. Just go to there. And can I... I can switch to the tractor. Can enable IC. Can I can I um, shorten that one by clicking on it? I've got I do have an IC here, but it doesn't give me an option to shorten that one. Uh, let me go. It, it might have been that I couldn't enable IC because I was right. Let's do this. I got that one. Oh, that removes the mud cards. We can open the door with that one. And then that'll be, yeah, we've got mud guards there. Uh, still mud guards. Let's have a look over the side. There's nothing else here that we can do to check. There are no other settings. Probably a back window. Yeah, there's the back window. 
Uh, what about? Yeah, we got it. We got a skylight as well. There's no other IC controls. It would appear that this mower is a little bit peculiar, and quite frankly, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. This is, this is not something that I'm pleased about. Get rid of that a minute, and we'll come out and we'll hitch that one on. We'll do that. However, we will still see if it will work. So I want to I wanna go to the front one a minute like that. And I want to pick it up off the ground. It doesn't even pick it up properly. It doesn't do anything. This is not, it's not working the way that it's supposed to. I do not like this. I'm thinking that we should sell this one and we should just go and buy the standard one. So I don't know if it's because of the tractor that we're using. Maybe this particular tractor, it doesn't like it. I, I, I don't know. There must be a reason for it. So we'll turn that one over there, and then this one here will unfold. And we'll start it up. And then we'll... As soon as we, as soon as we get out to this point, there we go. Right, so then we can start that one up. I do like that it's got an animation on the beaters on the back. Um, that's a conditioner, that's called. It Basically, it, it bashes the grass a bit, and it helps it to dry out faster. Now, if you have them both lifted up like this, you can see... Well, you can sort of see they're lifted up. Uh, control V now. We'll lower the front one. Why is it not Control V? Should do Control V to lower them both down. It's not. It's not working. Whether it's something to do with this mower, I I I, I don't know. I, I don't like it. I I don't like that none of it is working. Why aren't you work? Are you going to even mow? Do you even mow, bro? Right. Well, at least at least it does that. We we do have mowing going on, so we, we we can we can be thankful for that little bit. There we go. So we we've got our slightly twisted mower, which is not working brilliantly, but it, it's sort of doing something, which I'm pleased about. I I am pleased that we've got something coming from this. We're going to. I was thinking of making hay with this actually. I was, I was going to uh, mow all of this little field that we've done here and turn it into hay. And then once I've turned it into hay, we'll go along, we'll row it up, we'll bale it up, and then we will run the bales up to the sheep and we'll throw them in. Everybody will be happy, especially the sheep. And then we'll carry... Ah, oh, look, the dark grass there, that doesn't mow. You can't do anything with that. So the lighter patches of grass, you will be able to do stuff with, but those dark patches there, you, you can't mow them at all. Right, we want straw pellet. No, we're not going to worry about that. I'm just going to leave the mowers flat on the ground. Control V should lift both of them up off the ground. It should lift the front and it should lift the back. Um, I do this all the time with the stand with the Pottinger ones. I use the Pottinger ones in the time lapse, and I've been doing quite a lot of mowing in that series. And yeah, just Control V and it lifts the front one up, and then a little bit of a delay later, it lifts the back one up. And so you, you've got them both up in the air, which is really handy. And then you can go and put them back down again. The reason that you put the two mowers together sometimes, especially like the Pottinger ones, and then you have the rear driving tractor, is so that when you go around the corner like I did back there, uh, you don't miss a strip. Like here, look. If I do that, and then if I just stop, you can see right there, I've actually missed a bit, where the front mower went out of line with the back mowers. And this is just something that happens. There's not a lot that you can do about it. That's why when you get to the corner, you would normally lift them both up, and then you... you um, uh, you turn round and then you put them both back in again. So you're driving relatively straight when you've got the mower on the front and the ones on the back. If you've got them both joined together and you go whizzing along like that, uh, it does actually, you don't actually really need to worry about it. You, you don't need to worry about it at all, actually, because um, you can turn as sharp as you like and you're not going to really miss anything at all. You may, I, th I think sometimes you might miss like a tiny little strip, but generally speaking, if you've got them latched together, like you can do with the Pottinger ones, you don't need to worry about it at all. You, you just keep going. Just keep going and going and going, and you can turn as sharp as you like. And that's why I like to do it. That's why I like to get a um, backwards driving tractor and do it like that. I won't be doing it in this uh, current time lapse series because I've done the backwards driving quite a bit. But uh, as soon as we get to FS19, if it's an option in there, I will be back to doing the backwards driving with the mowers joined together because I think it is the best possible configuration. The only improvement that you can have is to go and get the Crone Big M and use that bad boy instead. So we'll swing in round here. Might miss a little bit, but we'll come back and get that. 
we'll, we'll get that when we do our next sort of spin round and then we're not going to need to worry about it. There's a little patch of grass there. I don't know if the mower danced up over it and I missed it or what. I think the mower just danced over it and we missed it like that. We'll find out because I'm going to go back over it this way in a minute. Yeah, it does look like it did that. Sometimes when you do that, the mowers will work independently and sometimes when it does that, the, the, the butterfly mowers on the back work together. So if you miss a bit on one side, it misses a bit on the other side as well. And it's a little bit of a nuisance when it does that. And um, it's sort of you have these little patches all the way around the edge, especially if you've got this field doesn't belong to you. It cuts out both sides. Um, but this one seems to work independently, which is that is quite good. I mean, I, I absolutely don't like the look at the front. It's not supposed to do that. I'm certain that it is not supposed to be looking like I'm wondering if that's something to do with the manual attaching mod. I'm wondering if that's maybe the manual attaching that is causing that rather than anything else in particular. I mean, it might not be. It might just be that the um, the mod is not compatible with this tractor. It might work better with a different tractor. Uh, sometimes you do get that. There is a slight incompatibility between them. I don't know where I got these mowers from. I'm pretty sure there is a link in the description. If there isn't and you really want to get these mowers, then let me know and I will hunt it out. I normally keep a list of any mods I get from external websites and then um, I put them in the description down below and then each episode I do I just copy and paste the list over into the next episode so any mods that I use in that series get copied and pasted over and then you get to see the mods um, you, you get to see the whole list and then if I add in a new mod I add in I, I then go down through the list and I add it in um, so sometimes I do miss mods or I've got mods in there that I haven't used for ages or I haven't used in the series at all. Uh, that's why. It's because I, I just copy and paste from the previous episode. I don't really have time to go through and read the full list every time when I'm uploading. Um, I do try to check up on it every now and then, but usually it's just someone will say, oh, you haven't got that mod in the description. And then I go back and look and I'm like, oh, yeah, I don't. Um, sorry about that. And then I add it in and then let you know. Uh, so if, if there isn't a mod, if there isn't a description, if, if, uh, uh, if there isn't a link in the description for this mod, for the John Deere mower pack, let me know and I'll make sure that I add it in. Um, like I said before, I record this episode on, it's Friday for me, it's Monday for you. Um, a lot can happen over a weekend. Uh, things like, you know, I sleep and I eat and that generally, you know, that, then I forget everything that's happened. Um, I, I don't have a good memory at the best of times. I, I really don't. Having a whole weekend go between thinking of something I need to remember and then actually doing it, 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 it generally it doesn't work out very well. Not not for me anyway. I, my, my memory is absolutely atrocious. So uh, just just bear with me. You just just, just gen gentle nudging is all I need. If if I forget something, just just the gentle nudging is all we want, and then I'll be able to carry on with it. So we just get, we've got a little tiny bit left to finish this field. And then we will have done our mowing. We haven't done very much mowing at all in this episode, in this series, have we? We did a little tiny bit, like right back at the beginning. I know some of you really don't like grass-related stuff. You, you prefer crops in that. And then there's others of you that love mowing. You, and, you know, you, you, you'd like to have lots more mowing. Um, I obviously try to achieve a balance because there's always going to be some people that are happy with some jobs compared to other jobs. Um, but I'm, I've, I've been rather neglectful of our mowing in this series. I, I, I did all this field. I ploughed up this field, already do a load of mowing, and then I never actually did it. So we will try to do a bit more mowing. It's, I, I'm going to try to do a balance in the next series as well, but um, I will focus more, a bit more on animals, I think, to start with, because we really haven't done very much to animals at all. In While we're staying in... Oh, we can stop now. We've, we've finished doing the mowing. While we're staying in... Um, oh, what's it called? Uh, Slovenia in the under the hill map while we're staying there we're going to be doing there's a few different jobs that we're going to be doing we're going to we're going to try and do sort of a little bit of all the jobs so it's going to be three weeks that we're going to be there and then we'll be moving on to the main the, the new main map now i'm thinking that rather than spend ages unhitching those i'm just going to park them up there it's going to stop you right there like that and i'm going to go and check on the combines a minute well, this one here has decided that it's going to be extremely inconvenient once again. So we're going to have to go back to here. We're going to stop that driver right there and do that. Start up. Now, if you kindly just move out the way, 
that combine will be able to go and do what it needs to do. So I'll stop you right there. And then I will go back to course play and I will drive course. So all I'm going to do, stop it right there. Waiting until fill level is reached. Okay, that one's good. So this combine here is still got a lot to do. Helper E has completed their task. They just went up through and there we go. The very end of it there. Is he going to put his spout out for that one or not? I think he is. But if I put the spout out, I'm hoping he'll take the rest of the beans. Go forward a bit. Is he going to take all the rest of the beans? We can go through to like that. 6,000. Actually, I think it will. I think it will take all the rest of the beans in there. Uh, I want to go that way there. Yeah. Yep, there is enough room. There is enough room for the beans. Just. Oh, no, there isn't. There is not enough room for the beans. 900 litres left. That's disappointing. Right. Well, what I will do is I will drive this one down... Over that way, I'm going to drive it over sort of more towards field two, and then that challenger can come and unload just the last few of the beans. There's not very many beans left. There's, there's just a few, 900 litres, as you can see. And then once it's done that, we'll be able to start this one over in the field of barley, going round and round on there. We'll use the AI vehicle extension to do that, and um we'll leave a few lines i'm going to leave the straw on the ground we won't be bailing it we're not going to look at that straw in this series but i will leave it on the ground for those of you who want the save game file i'm just going to leave that one there we'll ignore the challenger for a minute and what we want to do is i think that one's going to be a little bit too small for the job that i've got in mind so we're going to go and we'll probably have to move that combine in just a second uh no i want this tractor right here so let me just jump out and unhitch that Detach the PTO, there we go. And then we'll run over to the barn and we can get the... I should have a hay turner here somewhere. I should have. At least I'm hoping I'd... You know, we could actually use the small tractor for the hay turner and then we can use this tractor for the rake. Uh, I wonder if the small tractor would pull the, the rake as well. Let's just see a second. I'm, I'm curious now because... Sometimes they can cope with it and sometimes they can't. It should give a recommended uh, PTO uh, horsepower, doesn't it? Go to here. Uh, 70 horsepower. Well, they, we should be able to cope with 70 horsepower. How big is that little tractor? The wee star over there is... Well, that's 105 horsepower. That's, that's more than enough. Okay. Um, we don't want you at all. You are now finished. So I'll bring you over here and we're going to... Actually, we'll start... We'll put this one on the long field a minute. We're going to start working up and down there. We'll do the big field at the end. So bring this one down through here. Where's that tractor going? Are you really going to go and put... Oh, I'm sorry. Did you think that I was going to need to do that field next or something? Is that why you've gone and parked in there? Treacherous little rat. We will go and we will move him out the way yet again. Why would you, why would you do that? I mean, seriously. Why would you drive into that field there and then park up? What could it possibly gain? What advantage could it possibly give you to park there? That's like the most inconvenient spot that you could have found. Start that one up. He's going to go up through. We're going to have to go back to that John Deere tractor over there. And we're going to have to move. You, we're going to need to go and empty you out. And say, I'll, I'll deal with you in a minute. I want to keep that combine moving. There. And then I go to here. And I go to stop driver. There. Start up, and then we'll drive out of here. I mean, really, how, how is that possibly useful to go there? I'll bring it round, and I'm going to put it right behind the combine. I'm going to put it over here. So it's in this field, and I'm hoping that's going to be sufficient. So I go to there, and then I go to drive course. Yes. Okay, he's going to stop there, and then once he's full, he'll go off to empty out at the pigs, and it, it should be all... All fine and tickety-boo. Uh, next up, I need to do the challenge. We'll, wor we'll worry about the challenger next time. We're not going to worry about the challenger right now. Even though it's right there and it's, it's ready to go. No, I, I want to do some stuff with this one. Uh, that roller... Hmm. We're getting rid of it. I'm just going to sell it right from here. I think I may have even uh, leased that one, didn't I? No, I did not. Okay. But in which case, we're going to go here. We're going to sell it. Someone's going to come and buy it immediately from us. Because I don't really want to use that anymore. There we go. Get rid of you. 
So that way I don't have to set it down. It's, it's the setting, setting it down that I didn't really want to do. So if I just get rid of it, we don't have to worry. Okay, the collision for that fence is out slightly more than the actual fence is. Now we bring this tractor in here, a little tiny track. This is, this is much more like it. And then we can get the hay turner on and we'll be able to start doing a little bit of hay turning. We'll worry about getting the fence combine going in the barley in our next episode. I'm probably not even going to be able to finish doing the turning on this episode. And well, I'm hoping I can. We'll just drop down in there and hit you on. Put that one on as well. And out we go. Right. Perfect. Now this little hay turner here is, my, is one of my favourite mods in the game one of my favorite um auto load the auto load trailers they are hands down my favorite mods they are the ones that i would pick if i could only have one mod it would be an auto load trailer um i've, I've said this before i absolutely love those uh but yeah i do also particularly like this hay turner and the reason is because it does this it turns it doesn't just turn the hay, it moves the hay away from the edge, just like this. I said in my last episode that I wanted you to give me stories about putting out fires with a combine. Because I was saying, look, we got this tiny little um, fire extinguisher strapped to the side of the combine. Has anybody ever actually successfully put out a uh, fire with one of those little tiny fire extinguishers strapped to the side of the combine? A huge number of you responded with stories of putting out fires with those fire extinguishers that were strapped to the sides of the combines. I was genuinely surprised and I think it's absolutely awesome. So they are a good thing. A lot of you have done it. Um, some of you said, you know, there's certain types of fires that you would never be able to put out. Um, I heard stories about uh, combines being saved but tractors and fields full of grain got lost. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, somebody said that they had a combine that used to drive around the field. I'm sorry I'm not mentioning any names. It's just I can't remember anybody's names who were associated with these stories. Um, but I, I remember the stories. Uh, somebody said that they were driving around and they had this old combine. And there was a, like a bit that used to like smolder and get really hot and then it would catch fire. And it would literally just lean out um, with the fire extinguisher, squirt it and put the fire out and then carry on. And then a little while later they would end up doing the same again. It was like a, a really regular occurrence putting out fires on the combine um <laughs> so yeah it's that that did that made me laugh that one did that really did make me laugh just going around <laughs> knowing your combine is catching fire on a regular basis and just like leaning out the cab casually putting it out as though nothing unusual is happening whatsoever <laughs> that's just brilliant that is that is absolutely brilliant i loved it um so a lot of you, though, have put out loads of fires with the fire extinguishers strapped to the combine. So I stand corrected on that. I thought it was like an exercise in futility because I've never experienced a combine fire myself. I've never experienced it. I've never seen it. Um, the only ones that I've ever really heard of, uh, you know, were pretty catastrophic. You know, when the combine catches fire, it, it, it goes up with a whoosh, whoomph, and that's the end of the combine. Yeah, usually the end of the field that the combine was with as well. So... The fact that so many of you have successfully put fires out and you haven't lost the combine and the field and everything else involved is just fantastic. That is just an amazing thing. It really is. I think that's absolutely awesome. Drifting a lot with this um, hay turner, aren't we? I think it's just the uneven ground. And it's the other thing I like about this hay turner is it's quite wide as well. It does actually cover quite a, a, a lot of ground. Um, I do tend to overlap it quite a bit, just to make absolutely certain that I've got everything with it. Um, but it is a very, very good hay turner. I love this hay turner. I really do. Now, the bee has got a nearly full grain tank. And if I look on here, 6R series is busy on its way out to the pig. So it's going to be a little while before that one gets back. Now, I turn around here. This is probably going to... Oh, no, it's not kicked out the hay too much. Did a little bit, but not, not a huge, vast amount. I've got... Only a little bit left. We'll, we'll probably just finish this off in our next episode. I'm going to need to wrap things up, I think. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And, yeah, I think we will we'll carry on. To, we'll just finish up the hay turning in the next episode. Then we're going to rake it, and then we're going to bale it so that we've done that. And then we'll grab those bales, and we'll run them. we got the Arkizan stacker. We'll run that stack straight up to the sheep, and we'll put them in, and we're going to get water in for them as well. 
Then we've done something to sheep on the map. The combining will be almost finished. We'll then be... I'm going to artificially just fill up the cows between now and um, tomorrow's episode. And then we're not going to have to worry about them anymore. Um, so we can just kind of fast forward time while the combines are finishing up. And we can get started on doing the potatoes. If we go through one night, the cows give us an absolute fortune in money from the milk we get something like a hundred and ten thousand dollars from uh the cows for milk overnight so that'll take care of our little financial situation which means that we'll be able to lease the potato harvester and we can start doing those as well i don't know if we're going to have time to start those in tomorrow's episode if not we will definitely be able to start them in the following episode and it does look like this series is going to run for this week and next week in order to be able to wrap up everything that we want to do and then we'll be moving to under the hill for our short working holiday in Slovenia. So until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.